How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to some Nine Circles action. So instead of actually picking away at the list of Nine Circles levels that I should be doing, I'm going to be playing some cursed Nine Circles remake levels. Really got to get back to that checklist. I haven't done Nine Circles levels in ages. Oh, yes, absolutely. Cursed Nine Circles levels. Let's go. This one's called Nine Locked, which is deadlocked, but in a Nine Circles theme. So this is pretty cursed, but I like it. It's, a, it's an older level, too. All right, let's go. Nine locked. Never, never give up. Follow your dreams. I should probably be practicing this first. Like I do, I do appreciate uh, the little finishing touches to make it like as it going as well. Look at that nine circles, baby. Oh, yes. I, I do appreciate the effort to make this as nine circles as possible. Man, deadlock waved is it's harder than any part in nine circles confirmed. Oh, dude, you don't even go into the ship. That's that's amazing. That is that's that's amazing. It is just pure nine circles. Okay, so some of the parts are similar and some parts are way different. Whoa, it was a fake. Luckily, I know like deadlocked well enough. If I didn't know deadlocked well enough, I wouldn't have known to do that, right? It feels so weird, like, because I know what deadlocked looks like and I'm expecting it to look like deadlocked, but it looks like nine circles. And even though it's just a visual thing, it is absolutely throwing me off, like super hard. It looks, I can't handle this. It, that's way different, actually. Ah! Dude, what? Oh, instead of the boss part, we just get nine circles. We get the nine circle ship. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Woo! It's so different, man. Oh, back to nine circles. Yet yeah, deadlocked wave confirmed. Harder than nine circles. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Dude, you absolute cruel monster. Instead of putting the rest of deadlock, you decided to end it with, like, the the fake part in uh, in Nine Circles. Cru that's just... It's cruelty, dude. It's... It, what a what a weird mashup. It's, like, it's not just deadlock, but Nine Circles now. There's, like, actually, like, a lot of... Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of Nine Circles parts in here. That... It's so weird. Oh, man. Let's try to normal. Dude, I did it. I did it. Let's go. Oh, of course I die to the dual deadlocked wave. You know what's cursed? The deadlocked wave at 72% right here. That's cursed. In normal deadlock too, it's just cursed. Oh, dude, you bumped the... You, oh, what is that slope? Look at it. It's a slope, but it's... You see that? You see those hitboxes? It's the slope, but it's the wrong way. You... Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go easy, easy. It's just the deadlocked ending. It's just the deadlocked ending. Oh, all right. If I die here, I really suck. I really suck. I really suck, but I don't suck. Yes. Uh, that That is... Uh, that's an interesting level. Deadlocked, but nine circles. That was trippy. That was, was weird. It's weird playing a level that looks like nine circles. Like a level that you're already so comfortable with. Like I've played deadlocked a lot. I'm so comfortable with it. And then you play it in nine circle style. It feels really strange. Really cool though. The next one we're going to be doing is one. I don't even think I need to go into practice mode. This is Hoopy Nine Circles. So if you guys don't know what that means, it means it's basically like a layout version of the level. So let's see. Let's see what Nine Circles. Let's see what the bones of Nine Circles 
actually looks like. So if you look at the bones in nine circles, it's actually pretty like it looks a lot easier than when there's all like the flashy colors and stuff. Like it looks like there's a lot more space except for the ship section. The ship section was always kind of hard in nine circles, but like as soon as we get into the wave, I bet you guys are gonna be like, wow, that's actually quite a lot of open space. It's just like the fakes and the visuals in nine circles. What? The fakes and stuff in nine circles make it seem a lot harder than it actually is. Will I ever be able to just remember this ball part? Like for some reason, I always forget it. Like every time I come to a circles level or nine circles, I always forget the timings and the, the orbs. Okay, so let's see just how open is nine circles. See, like it, oh, it's, it's, it's kind of tight at parts, but like this part right here with the fake, like it's so much more open than you actually think it is. Although I'm, the actual nine circles level might be a little bit tighter. I'm not entirely sure because sometimes the poopy levels, oh, I almost died there like three times. See, that's like really wide open, right? Sometimes the poopy levels are a little bit nerfed. Although I don't think this one's nerfed. I think this one just is the same difficulty because everything else looks the same, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know, man. Whoa, what did I do that for? I could have just gone like long strokes in between those that I like spammed in the middle. What, what did I do that for? Oh boy. Oh, the ending's way easier, yeah. The ending is much easier. Like there are, there are some timings that were made so easy here. Okay, I gotcha, yeah. Oh, oh, I thought I was going to die there. Yeah, no, I think the timings at the end were easier. I don't know what other parts might have been easier here, but there, there were definitely a couple parts that were easier. It was interesting seeing the bones of uh, nine circles, though. Although I wish with some of these poopy levels, it was just straight up layout. I wish there were no nerfs so you could see exactly what the bones of the level looked like. Although I guess you could just do that in the editor yourself, but I'm way too lazy for that. All right, I'm going to save the craziest one for last. And this one is, this is a problematic remake and it's not really like a cursed level in a way. It's got like the cursed wave part where it kind of like curves upwards and you can see that happen, which is why I'm including it. It's got a cursed wave part, but I thought it, the level just visually looked pretty cool. And so I wanted to do it. I will say, however, this level visually looks really cool. I really like the way it looks, and I think it's a really great, like, uh, problematic remake. However, with that said, there's there's a couple of annoying parts in the gameplay. And once again, the beginning. I don't know how how true to the uh, how true to the beginning like this is to problematic, but it is the beginning is kind of annoying to the level. But the beginning of problematic was also like the hardest part of problematic because problematic's a pretty easy level. So it, I mean, it makes sense, right? But I think I think this level visually looks really cool. There we go. There's the curse way. And then you go down there. I think that's a really cool part because like your wave goes up like that. It doesn't arc that well though. I, I thought it kind of arced. I guess I guess I miss saw that. But it, it goes up there and then like you got to go down like as it's kind of like sliding, which I think is is pretty cool. There, there's definitely like some really cool parts in the gameplay, but then there's some parts like this fake is like kind of weird. Dude, I love those little like slides you do. I think it's really cool. Yeah, I, th I think the level visually looks pretty cool. It's just got like a couple annoying parts. I think this level's great, but this beginning, man, just like problematic. Problematic, ah, just the most annoying beginning ever. Yeah, it's a fakes, bro. It's nice. That's, uh, dude, I love that part. Absolutely love it. It's a, l it's a little bit awkward to get used to, but it, it is so cool. I, I, I hate those fakes. Dude, my very first nine circles level was problematic. And I was being pretty obnoxious in the video. I was just singing like random stuff. I was like, milky, creamy. Like, I, what was I doing, man? I used to be unhinged, okay? We're just gonna put it that way. I, I, you, I'm, I'm still a little unhinged. Nice. I die here, I suck. Do I suck?
Yeah, I did it. Okay, cool. That was cool, man. Very cool visually. I, I think uh, it stays true to the original. The last level we're doing today is extremely cursed, but I love it. But it's hard. It's so hard because it's visually so cursed. It's orb circles. Mulpen made this level where it's nine circles, but every single object is an orb. Oh my God, it is such a mess to read. And it, like, it's supposed to be, right? Because it's just, everything's an orb. Like, look at that. Look at that. You kind of got to like gauge. Okay, the black orbs are there to kill you. The, what? The yellow orbs are like the platforms you can land on. And But if you get too close to them, you actually hit the orbs, you know? Like, so in other words, for, yeah, I hit the black orbs. See? So you got to stay like really far away. Uh, uh, ah, ah, <laughs> I did it again. Oh, uh, no, no, you just got to hold down the button. You just got to slide. You got to slide a little bit. Just don't get close to the black orbs at all. That is extremely cursed. And then b the ball part's roughly the same. You just got to know what's what, what to land on. It looks so weird, dude. Like, I know nine circles pretty well, but seeing it like this, it's just so hard to read, man. Oh my God. It's so hard to read. The wave part, I think, is easier, if I recall. Yeah, the wave part does look a little bit easier. However, this part right here, when you go into, like, the fakes, there's a bunch of dash orbs you can hit, so I only do, like, one input just to be on the safe side. Although, I think the wave part is much easier in the beginning because there's just less that can go wrong. Although, if you do get close... Ah! If you do get close to those dash orbs, you do hit the dash orbs, but I don't think it matters as the wave because you just, like, orb... You just dash orb in a certain direction, and that's, like, the same as, like, a wave input, so I don't think it really matters. So the wave part is like the easy part. I wouldn't call it easy, but it's like as normal to nine circles as it can. Look at that. But then, <laughs> oh my God, this ending is such a nightmare to read. Look at this. Holy shoot, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm going to die here like five times, I bet. Oh my God, man. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> You know what? That's what cool people do to get to the end. Hit the blue jump orb and you go up. Woo! An insane level. This level's insane. Like, when I found this, I was looking up, like, some cursed uh, nine circles levels. I didn't expect it to be that hard. And then I practiced it. It's so hard! It's just visually, like, look at, like, I see a yellow orb and I want to hit the yellow orb. I'm like, oh, yeah, you, you, you hit orbs, right? You don't land on orbs. So, like, I'm trying to unlearn things in my brain that like I've learned for such a long time, you know, that I'm just so used to like half the orbs, but I'm using them as platforms now. I hit, I hit the black orb. What? See, what? See, the, I, hit, I hit the dash orbs. That's what I'm hitting. I'm hitting the dash orbs on the bottom. It's, it, you, <laughs> uh, dude, I started wiggling and a waving in between there because I panicked and I hit like so many dash orbs. That was out of control. Yes! Oh my god! Panic! Woo! Let's 
go up to the end. Oh man, I am so shocked I did not die to that ending. My God, it's so much harder than it looks. All right, so those are some cursed nine circles levels. Uh, what did you guys think of them? I had a lot of fun. I like playing levels in different ways that kind of subvert your expectations. And uh, it was great, it was really cool. Leave a thumbs up, I'll see you in the next one. I'll try to get back to those nine circles levels, those rated nine circles levels soon, I swear. As always, peace.